Hi right, guys, how you doing? This is Casa Bunch Online, number 27. This is my first tournament since being unbanned. Thank you to Bunch for taking the initiative and taking time to do this. And I'm shout out to all my supporters. It's been a while. I'm so happy to be back. This is the path to achieve enlightenment. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's try, let's just get back to the swing of things. Round okay. Fight. All that meter. Just gotta jump. Or die. There it is. Yeah, two faces. I have to have two faces. You win. It's go time. So what was all my config configuration? Why? What the hell? I see something. One sec. One second. Okay. I, yeah, I need to reset my buttons. really weird that makes no sense but it happened I still want though thank God I 
I think it's because I update his team. Wow, so, so I, won, I won with a broken button layout. This is the path to achieve enlightenment. Yeah, I did. Try it again. Let's do this. Round Let's do it. Try it again. Fight. Yeah, I really couldn't. Troubleshoot on the fly. See the fans had to stop. They did. They did. I think they did. Alright, it's a three it's a three bar connection. I don't know what caused that. I don't know if it was a stun. I don't know, I don't know whether it was win. Steam, controller, like whatever. I don't know. Let me see if it uh, let me see if it normalizes. Let's see if it normalizes um, mid match. It's go time. Let me go to chain mode for a sec. That was really weird. The grid alternative. This is the hot to the chief. So it was a connection. It was a connection. Okay, cool. That's all I need to confirm. Alright, so uh, I can play round three now. I see. See my next matches. All right, so my next match is Naji.
Okay, so my next matchup against Naji. It's go time. Let's do this. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Round one. Fight! Gear is very dangerous. Round two. Yes, what a good decision. Oh, I feel them tiny, tiny black on back. Very dangerous now. These are the types of things that I need to test myself. Wow, very nice. Nice. Aji 
looking good. Alright, so one more round, just clean up. Alright, so let me get my losing match ready and I'll start. That's exactly what I need. I need to be tested like this. So, you know, while I'm a, I'm a little bit upset that I got put in losers, it's not, not a total loss. I have to play more matches. If I know my next match is, I'll be right back.
alternative. This is the path to achieve enlightenment. Okay, I'm back. Turn it time. Hugs. Not an easy matchup for me. I'll try our best. Round one. Fight! Block side, I can't get anything. Yeah, you can't get anything. That was solid, that was solid. You win. We postulated all the possibilities. It's very solid. Round one. Fight! Gauge. Here we all he needs. There you go, GG's. GG's. You win. Sharp. 
I shall see. So, turn back to the brackets. I'm playing next. So, my next opponent is Undetermined. I'm still waiting. Yep, so it's Joey and Rogan and High Speed Chaos. That should be a good one. So I can just hang on, hang on standby for a little bit. I hang tight for a little bit. Decision. Yeah, because, you know, you don't want to ready up too fast. You want to think about it a little bit. Hmm, what could I have done here? What could I have done there? All right, be right back. Um, you know, we gain your nerve exposure and the uh, dive back into it. But we're going to the main state character. Go. And this is only uh for round three, so we're we're almost there. We're almost knocking on the door on top eight territory. But let's see who answers right here. Will it be uh Space Boy or Mars? Yeah, this is definitely an interesting matchup. You know, Kareem obviously falling down the tier list quite a few rungs. Uh we still have seen some players, you know, picking her up though. Obviously, we saw the farewell tournament from Punk a few weeks ago. Uh, you know, taking place here at the Casa household, saying goodbye to uh, Karen. And there's been a couple other players in the brackets. Marv, obviously, one of them that are still rocking with this character. But mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Space Boy, especially on Luke, is just such a threat. Yeah, Luke is definitely such a polarizing character because it's he's a character that has advancing normals, right? So that's going to increase the pushback on um, block and, you know, put you towards the corner where he can really get the party started. So, you know, you gotta, gotta fight back against this character to avoid that situation. But here we go. We got the activation that are coming out from, uh, from Space Boy. See? Oh, okay. Probably try to go for just a walk up talk, walk up throw, shimmy. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, no. The last yes. little bit of the V trigger available there, closing it out with the whiff punish. Set point now here for Space Boy. Space Boy is looking really a controller to this matchup. Nice good hits here for Mar. Back throw to take control of the corner. Has V trigger again already. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if we get an activation next hit. Nice. From the standing short. Confirm there from downtown. Again, into the Went corner. for the suppressor, oh, but got counter hit. Yeah. Oh, hey, CA? CA? Oh, not yet. Too I much scaling. To okay, hold on. Chip is now starting to become a factor, which means Marv cannot activate. They need to save that V meter for a reversal, and it's going to be the suppressor. Yeah. That's crazy. He just walked That's up crazy. and did it. He just did it. I, I count that as a DP, by the way, Space Boy. I, I, I count that as a walk up DP. <laughs> All right, suppressor <laughs> taking the taking the round here. Uh, good stuff from uh, Space Boy is gonna move forward into the bracket. Uh, you know, I think that would put us in the you know close to the top eight qualifier matches uh, for our next us, round of opponents. It puts us exactly into the top eight qualifiers. It's gonna be hitting the top sixteen chat and looking at our matchups. Uh, I don't have an easy way to put it on screen. I should fix that. Uh, but we're going to have X Finesse versus Deadeye Artist or Callisto. Mr. Mad Gear versus Naji. Kaba versus Space Boy. And Punk versus Shine. So crazy, mm. crazy qualifiers for Top 8, considering every single one of those could be a Top 8 match in and of itself. So right. insanity tonight. Right, and you know, if you're if you're especially if you're used to checking out streams and tournaments, um, you know, so several of these players are no stranger to the danger of uh, even getting close to getting to these top eight. So you expect these uh, high level performers. I'm a big fan of the underdog. You know, I like to see a player that you know that might not be talked about in you know certain circles and stuff. Uh, get in there, get their their chance to shine because it makes it like, yo, who is this person? Who is this person? But you know what else I wonder who is? I wonder who will uh, contribute yep. to this, uh, in, if they can, 
uh, you know, to the match arena. I think we still have uh, promo codes available, Doc, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And so you guys are going to have a couple minutes to get that done. We are going to have to take a second for our regularly scheduled ad break. So bear with us. It is going to be uh, three minutes long. For those of you who are subscribed to the channel, thank you for supporting it directly. For those of you who are just viewers, thank you for supporting the stream with your eyeballs. It means a lot to us here at the Casa Household. So thank you guys for showing up. The ads are just to keep the lights on here at the house and make sure that we can get some cool projects coming at you in the future. So bear with us for these couple minutes. And now that we're in the, the ad break, uh, this is that portion where we get to play the game, uh, Shadow Ace, that Bunch uh, brought uh, up earlier. Oh, shit. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. What game, what game are we talking about? What, what's, what's going on? What is this? Talk to us, Bunch. What we got? Doctor, you want to do, do spoons or vegetables? Uh... I'll do vegetables again. All right. So, sh Shadow Ace, out of all the vegetables in the land, what is your favorite vegetable? Peas. Peas? Peas. Rice and peas. Black eyed peas. Let me see. Uh, green peas. Peas and rice. Said a, variety that a, bit, right? a variety of things that complement can complement your meal with the, I, some good old fashioned peas. Man I can't set. say you're wrong. I can't say you're wrong because of the versatility. Yeah. But uh, it is definitely an interesting choice. I got to just say that, too. All right. Mm -hmm. I, can, I, I can't I can disparage that answer. Okay. I'm not against it. I'm not against it. You know, so it's a solid choice, you know? Solid not a, choice. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I'm partial to, uh, to spinach, corn, and cucumber. I actually had like a spinach quiche uh, for breakfast I today. Mean, some people say cucumbers taste better pickled. You know what? That, that's a that was a reference. I know. I was. I was. I was following it up. You didn't uh -oh. catch it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what means. <laughs> okay, I see you. I was ready. I you, you. You weren't ready for how ready I was. I see you bunch. I got you. You weren't ready for how ready I was. Damn the double mix. I got you. All right, don't worry. We got we got more questions for you, Shadow Ace. What? Huh? What got? All right. What else? What else we got? You. All right. All right. Shadow Ace Fifty. <laughs> yes. All right. This game Government is called name. the the whole thing. First name, last name, middle initial. This game is called Big Spoon, Little Spoon. I'm gonna read some categories, and you're gonna say Big Spoon or Little Spoon. All right. Are you ready? Okay. What is it? What is the big? Like, why would I say big spoon or little spoon? What, you, will what is see, you, you will see. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Okay. Soup. Big spoon, little spoon. Little spoon. Okay. Okay. All right. The constellations. Big spoon? Okay. He's a big dipper fan. All right. Spooning. <laughs> Are you a big spoon or a little spoon? Big spoon? Yeah. All right. All right. Every, everybody's, a little different. everybody's a little different. There's no wrong answer. We're just trying to we're just trying to see what kind of person is okay. behind behind the mic, you know? Okay. You know, to be honest, I'm a little spoon. I'm a little spoon. When when you it comes a little to spoon. spoon. Yeah. When it comes to spooning, you are a little spoon. <laughs> She okay. she got she got a backpack, you know. What I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm playing Fortnite. You know what I'm right. Oh right. man. All right, but we got the players here. Thank the you everybody for tuning in. The ads are over. We have 26 codes in the match arena. Oh, Stop acting familiar. Listen. Listen. Bang. And if you want to be a part of these games, you can definitely let us know if you are a big spoon or a little spoon at twitter.com slash Casa Bunch. Uh, let the world know where we are playing Big Spoon, Little Spoon and um, and naming your favorite veggies. Other than that, gentlemen, take it away. Yeah. Welcome right. back, chat. The ads are over. That was the uh, ad edition of the Casa Cast. The newest addition to our tournament showcasings. And we're going to be heading into the first of our top eight winner side qualifiers. 
and this is going to be Shine versus Punk on stream. Now, uh, I'm curious who Punk's playing. I'm also curious who Shine's playing, actually, if I'm going to be fully honest with you, because Shine was playing the Lucia for January, mostly, except for last week, where they decided to play Ibuki. Hmm. Okay. A uh, variety of uh, different characters into the mix, so you just don't know which one they'll throw their hat into. You did mention uh, about them doing a Kareem Farewell uh, tournament or something, or for their event saying they're not paying Kareem no more. Yeah, uh, that was what they said in their YouTube video. You know, they did a whole goodbye to it. And uh, I guess it's Luke time, right? Capcom Cup, Luke time makes sense. So we got Ibuki Ooh. versus Luke on the screen now. Okay. All right. Let's see which uh, one of these players eats their peas, you know, with the big spoon. So here we go. Not the fireball. Yeah, just gets that target combo in there. Follows it up with a nice little whiff punish. I mean, this character is still so good for Plunk's, Plunk's playstyle, right? Like, these advancing normals just crush a lot of different options for other characters. So, he's going to be out here spacing people out, making sure they get their, their uh, six feet apart in. But Shine starting to make a little bit of a comeback here. Okay, jabbing for the activation here. Let's see, the tech uh, coming in for Plunk. Back four. See, still has access to that V trigger too, uh, as well from Shine's in. But here we go into the activation for the Shuriken. See, yeah. side glitch? No, stay the way. Oh, Yo, the EXT people gonna bust out the walk back from Punk into the target combo for the, for the KO. Yeah, Punk, Punk was just ready for it, right? Shine not respecting the potential breakout there in the corner, but it's also, you know, you gotta force that on them, right? You have to be somewhat aware that it's an option potentially, but with the amount of health that Shine had, it's also kind of like, eh, I, I gotta do it, right? I have to at least do something. So let him DP. If he chooses not to, I get to run the mix. Okay, here we go. I think it's time to make a punk. But I think, I always think, uh, you know, Luke's new trigger, of course, has his own unique system. Um, by, it just doesn't go away until he gets hits or he uses it. So the fact that, you know, he can activate and kind of decide the course of the match just off the of strength of one activation is just kind of insane, you know? Yeah, I mean, we, we've we seen, you know, some variations of the trigger system throughout Street Fighter V's, you know, lifespan. Obviously, Nikali had the permanent V-trigger initially, and then it became the, the decreasing one. And then Luke came out, and we we're like, man, why would they change the V-trigger like this in the Street Fighter VI announcement? And we're like, oh, now it makes sense. But, yeah, I mean, it can swing just so wide if you're patient with it, right? Sometimes we'll see the Lukes activate and just throw it out there, right? Not hold on to any of that meter, spend it as fast as they earned it, and find themselves out of trigger once again. But it is still a playstyle yeah. to, to play space spaciously with it. Yeah, and then the pack is, you know, when you say they spend it so fast, they could possibly get another one because it's a two-bar V-trigger. Yeah. Uh, it's in the same round towards the end, so. That's all also, because his V skills uh, aren't, his V skills aren't bad either. So, like, you, it's not like one of those characters where it's like your trigger is amazing and your V skill is not that worthwhile. Mm -hmm. And again, so, this is uh, our round three match. So, again, this is our first two to decide who gets into our Oh, top the cross up! Match. Oh my gosh, good hits. And Shine does have that V trigger available, gets the activation off of the full release, goes for the Schmix though, and now you're fighting against Luke with no Kunai. Is that enough? No big damage. That's too much damage. What? Shine, are you kidding me? Gosh. What Shine is this? The V trigger completely gapping him and taking him right in front of Punk, who had no option except to finish the V trigger activation. Ayo. <laughs> oh, I, was, I gave the point to the wrong person. That was absolutely I, ridiculous. Sean, please. All right, we're going ahead for the game to go. Punk, of course, you know, shaking it off here, getting right back to work. That's devil work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got to clock in overtime if he wants to move forward into the top eight. Ooh.
go time. Let's do this. Ready for a fight. Hey, look, Nice to come, but I didn't take it. It's my bad. Round two. Microspacing, oh, microspacing. Fight. Sp it's meant too early, I think. I think it's meant too early. I think. Decision. Oh, one decision. You win. That sounds so good. Round one. I'm gonna try to go aggro. Oh. 
so much resources, John. Yeah. Joe's Achilles heel and patience. Round two. Uh, I've almost been off right there. Almost, almost. Final round. Decisions. You lose. So if I, if I lose to Joe here, you know I won't be upset. Okay. Round one. Okay. Fight. I try to overwhelm. Right, switch up the game plan. No spacing so much Jesus. Okay, final round, final round, final round. Final round. Fight. 
aus. So, I'm out of casa. Well, I'll come back later to practice tonight. You lose. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Casa, for letting me enter. <laughs> 